This is every mob Minecraft needs to change in its next update. Okay, and now look, I think we can all agree that LA's are pretty one note, but look at these. They could come in so many more varieties. And I'm not just talking about colors. Swordsman and crossbow LA's could charge into battle while the bell LA knocks back attackers and is shielded by this guy. There could be even more to find, but uh, be careful because there are just as many new vexes to fight. It might even start an all-out war. Guys, guys, stop! What's this all about? Those vexes stole our cake cow. I'm sorry, the cake cow? Oh, sure, that makes sense. Everyone knows if you feed a cow some sugar, they start to dance around. And if you keep on feeding them, then boom, cake cow. From there, they could be milked for a cake shake that, when drunk, would give players a sugary speed boost. Cows have needed an update for a while now, and this is just the next logical step in their evolution. Like how creepers evolved from pigs. Known to explode, these guys are pretty hated. Ah, stay away from my house! But uh, what if they didn't have to be hated? These creepers could be loved because when they explode, we all get something out of it. We all get filthy rich. I'm talking gold, emeralds, diamonds, even full blocks of the stuff. Yep, we'd all be living large, especially with our diamond water tanks full of the newly updated axolotls. Not only would they come in hot new colors, but they could be armored up with the drip leaf. Uh, they would even follow you around for a bite of fish. Open wide, if you're lucky, you could find the glow axolotl. Or if you're unlucky, the skulk axolotl. Ow! <laughs> you're a hungry little one, aren't you? <laughs> oh no, the axolotl ate me. Ah, whatever. Campfire! <laughs> Whoa! Is this a skulk-filled ocean cave? Oh no, but that means the warden shark! Wardens don't tend to swim down deep, so adding in this fierce water-loving variant would add some extra danger to sea exploration. They have all the buffed up hearing and sonic boom of the warden, but with an added slowness effect, meaning if you alert one, you're literally dead in the water. That is, unless you have a Pegasus to ride out of there on. Yep, horses are already useful, but give them a pair of wings and you'll be able to fly through the skies. Well, as long as you have enough magical glowstone dust to satisfy them. Oh no. <laughs> Oh, oh no, we're surrounded by witches! I'm sorry, old friend. Now we're both gonna die! Ah! Oh my, unicorns! Another horse type that could be added, able to charge through hordes of enemies. Or you could just have the best of both worlds and breed them together to get alicorns. Let us fly! <laughs> Wait, do you hear that? Ah! Ah! Oh, no! They sent a cursed witch after me! Regular witches are easy enough to take down. Oh my, C can you stop healing? These troublesome cursed witches, on the other hand, love to throw potions from the safety of their flying brooms. And if you did manage to knock one down, they just start disguising themselves as nearby mobs and blocks as they fight. Where did that witch go? And they'll use even more potions, like swiftness and nausea. <laughs> I'm done for! Wait, what? Oh no, it's a black cat! Oh. Stay away from me! Identifiable by its cute little hat, this cat has been updated from a simple recolor into Luck's worst nightmare. Random falling anvils, lightning strikes, and holes in the ground are only the tip of the iceberg. If you get cursed with its bad luck, you might just find nearby livestock poison, your house in flames, or a town of friendly villagers turned into hostile pillagers. Ah, I gotta get out of here! Ha! Ah, whew. Thankfully, they 
hate the water. So, <laughs> good thing there's nothing down here except that blaze. Blue blaze? Normally, this red hot foe is all about fire. And with the introduction of the air slinging breeze mob in 1.21, these mob types are starting to get elemental. So, introducing the drench. Found hovering above shipwrecks, this would be the polar opposite of a blaze. Oh, it's gotta be around here somewhere. Where is that darn treasure? The drench could shoot out waves of water that both break boats ah! and push players deep under the water to drown. <laughs> oh, don't worry, Angry Ned. Lifeguard Bonks is here to save you. Thanks for saving me, I guess. Of course, uh, though you're not much safer on the land because of the quake. My life sucks! This earthly brother to the breeze would be the final elemental mob. They'd spawn near trial ruins and fight off any player by pelting them with rocks, entangling them in roots, and by summoning earthquakes. Whoa! Look, man, I'm just here for the treasure. Ugh. Taking them down would net you some of their throwable rock, along with access to the Trial Ruin's newest treasure, this egg. It may look similar to a sniffer egg, but that's just to trick you into hatching it, because once born, this ancient mob wreaks havoc. Named the Eater, it would forego the sniffer's more passive behaviors to consume everything, from crops and blocks to even mobs and players. The Eater is never satisfied. So, if you're not watching your eggs carefully, you might just come back to a barren wasteland. What have I done? <sighs> You know, I've always found it odd how Minecraft bees are like the size of my head. What if they were more realistically sized? I think they'd be 100 times cuter, even when they're mad. Hmm, <laughs> <laughs> honey. Ow! Aww. Ow! But what if they also had a queen? The queen bee would be a mini boss of sorts and would reside in new, larger hives. Although she'd be a tough fight, the stinger sword and antenna she drops would would certainly be worth the trouble. Paired together, you could call bees to your aid at any time. Come, let us repollinate my desolate home. Ah, much better. Haha, <laughs> lame! But the, the new villager type is a mushroom villager? <laughs> no way! I bet a cherry blossom villager would be way cooler than you. Nuh-uh. Come on, I'll show you. Hmm, okay. Well, unlike normal villagers, these guys seem much more aggressive. Yeah! Kick him while he's down! But they don't seem very interested in trading. Uh, that guy looks different, though. A kind hello, sir! Could I interest you in an emerald? These elders will trade you a random item for every emerald, though some might not be worth the price. Uh, that's not a fair trade. No refunds! Oh, come on! Hey! Those were mine! Get back here! Pandas are usually so cute and cuddly, but with the addition of this new rare trash panda variant, the world would need a lot more cleaning up. And while these mobs love to munch on any dropped food item they can get their hands on, they'll constantly be dropping items of their own. And most of them are useless, like rotten flesh and poisoned potatoes. But they would have a very rare chance of dropping a netherite scrap. How they manage to get some is beyond me, but you could round them up and try to farm the stuff. You just have to sit through a lot of garbage. Oh no, my farm is on fire because of that new burning piglin. A new mutation. Born when a zombie piglin falls into lava, it craves netherite rather than gold, and it'll immediately charge towards any it can find. Ooh, <laughs> netherite. They'll even target any player that has so much as a scrap of netherite in their inventory. <laughs> what? <laughs> cooking them alive until they can claim their prize. Huh, look how happy they are. Yeesh, those burning piglins love netherite. Almost as much as I love this designer sheep. Um, <laughs> yeah, I couldn't have said it better myself. <laughs> These guys spawn very rarely in their fancy mansion homes. And you can shear them for some sweet, sweet designer wool. What can you do with this wool? Well, wearing 
doing it will give you a guaranteed discount at every village you visit. The locals just won't be able to get enough of you. Look, he's here. Is that Dr. Bonks? I think that's Dr. Bonks. And you can trade any spare wool for plenty of emeralds. Only problem is designer sheep won't ever regrow their fancy wool. So you'll have to find a lot of them if you want this snazzy suit. Oh, speaking of. Hands off the merchandise. Whoa, pal, I placed an order for that sheep. <laughs> Let me see. You know, I always thought it was weird that players could trade with villagers and not pillagers. This is a blank piece of paper. Oops, <laughs> wrong form. While exploring woodland mansions, you could stumble across some of these rare illager order items that would allow you to trade with illagers. Their prices aren't cheap, <sighs> but it's a way to secure some unique trades and get on their good side. Pleasure doing business with you. <laughs> now, where was I? Oh yeah, pillage the village! Oh, <laughs> I didn't even mention the new pillager types that could be added in, like the igniter that fires flaming torches into houses, or the preserver that shields itself and allies from attacks. Yes, they're quite the force to be reckoned with. Shame those golems are gonna utterly destroy them. Iron golems are fine and all, but there's not much to them. You build them up and they beat mobs down. A little simple for my liking. Minecraft could change that though by making iron golems upgradable, like a TNT golem that explodes when it's killed. Different blocks would offer different results. Diamond would make him stronger, but a packed ice golem could freeze water and lava, a redstone golem could power your machines, and a glowstone golem could light up the night. Not only that, but blacksmith villagers will now repair their own iron golems when damaged. Just, uh, well, maybe don't make a glass golem. They might dish some damage, but they sure can't take it. And there's no repairing that. Certainly can't trust it to guard my golden chicken. These are the most valuable mob to have on your farm and wouldn't be found in the wild. <laughs> nope, the only way to get them is by hatching a golden egg, which would have a 0.1% chance to drop from a wild chicken. Then you gotta place it next to a warm light source and crouch on it for three whole days. Hey, Fox, can I borrow some eggs? What in the? Ah, I hate you! Sorry, Ned. Gotta protect my boy. <gasps> it's time. Oh, <laughs> once hatched, you'll find your golden chicken fully grown and ready to make you rich. Because instead of eggs, these big guys will drop valuable nuggets, even diamond and emerald. You just can't ever breed them though. Just like the ender pig. These would be a special breed indeed. They could be found teleporting in every dimension and would be rideable. You'd have to craft a coarse fruit on a stick, but that's the easy part because then you'd have to get a saddle on them. Here, piggy, the nice piggy, and they hate being looked at. Ah! Ah! It's best to throw a pumpkin over your head to quell its anger, because once you're riding high, you'll be able to teleport around with them, even through other dimensions. Not only that, but they drop ender pork, which can be cooked to allow for random teleportation when eaten, or brewed for a potion of warping. <laughs> I can go anywhere! What? Where? Oh, great. I used my last potion to warp to the nether? Ugh, a bear in the nether? And what are you looking at? Oh, oh. Hey, uh, there's honey over there. Uh, look, uh, there's a fish. Uh, there's, look, a uh, piglin. Oink, oink. Whee! <laughs> this guy is the magma bear, and it loves nothing more than hunting down piglins for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Yeesh, quite the appetite. <laughs> uh, hey, uh, what's wrong, pal? Uh, wait. <sighs> Fire resistance? Oh, that's right. After devouring a tasty piglin, the magma bear would begin spewing fire resistance particles everywhere, which is great when you find yourself stuck in this place. Though, if you did manage to kill one, then you would be rewarded with something even better. Nether claws, a whole new melee weapon that lets you dash forward in a fiery blur. Perfect for cutting down the new and improved slimes. Aside from their ability to split, current slimes aren't all that special. These updated jellies, though, would be able to quickly adapt to each new environment they find themselves in. Not only could they change their appearance, but also their attributes based on the biome. If in an ocean, they'll become more fluid to speed through the water, while in deserts, larger ones will cause tremors to drop any loose sand nearby. Ice spikes might be the worst, though. They'll do 
extra damage, apply slowness, and can freeze you, but they'll shatter in a couple good hits. Oh, I almost forgot to mention, sometimes slimes will spawn with goodies stuck inside, like gold or an umbrella? Uh, sure, I guess this is useful. Oh! Ah! Get me down from here! I'm starting to drift down. Hmm, right into that horde of zombies. Ah, uh, it's no biggie. The zombies have always been the easiest mob in Minecraft. They're so slow and they leap and they explode into poison clouds. Oh no, these would be the new rotten zombies. Ah, stay away. They're more dangerous than any zombie before them. They can blind, poison, and explode their way to a delicious meal of me. Like how will I ever get out of this one? Whoa. Oh, wolves? Oh wait, no, dogs! Yes! Cats have had their own unique breeds for so long, while the wolves were left forgotten. But now, finally, dogs could have their time to shine. Along with all the different looking breeds that would be added, each one would have unique attributes. Dogs like the German Shepherd and Doberman would be excellent fighters, while the Corgi and Pomeranian would keep their distance but provide positive buffs like strength and swiftness. Oh wait! Uh, time out. I'll be right back. <laughs> oh, who's the goodest little guy? Thank you for giving me these buffs. All right, I'm going to go back and fight the mean old skeletons. So be a good boy, okay? <sighs> All right. <laughs> Buffed up and I'm ready. <laughs> It's not just fighting them. Some dogs, like the Dutch Hound, would be able to sniff out specific items that you present them. Go find me some diamond, boy! Over here! Like, good job, man! <laughs> yep, dogs are great! Uh, don't get a pug, though. No, I'm serious. Whatever you do, don't get a pug. They're little gremlins that steal food right out of your inventory and... Hey! Hey! Get back here! I swear I'll... Uh, deal with you later! It looks like I have termites! Ah, this is a surface dwelling variant of the silverfish that loves to infest wood instead of stone. Hmm. I heard you were having a termite problem. Uh, yeah, how did you? Typical. I'll take care of them. <laughs> uh, thanks. Uh, termites can be found in mounds spread all throughout the savannas, and they'll follow you home if you're not careful. It's worse than I thought. We have to leave now. What? No, it's my house. I'll just kill him myself. No, don't. <laughs> ah! No, no, burn it, burn it all. Uh... Well, now I don't have a house, and I'm hungry, so that's just great. Oh, yum, pork! <laughs> what the, a phantom? Typically considered the worst mob in Minecraft, these guys could use a lot of changes. This version would have significantly less health, but it could stun its prey with a screech. Then it swoops down to grab both players and mobs, flying them up into the sky and dropping them down to their deaths. It's easy enough to escape though, as long as you're not a defenseless villager. Ah, help me! Now he should have had a cat, because these phantoms are still terrified of the felines. Now, maybe phantoms being able to pick you up isn't so bad though. I mean, if you're lucky, you might just catch sight of a hidden ender ship floating in the overworld with loot aplenty. Speaking of those end ships, traversing the end could be a lot more fun with the end strider. Like its nether counterpart, it can be ridden with a saddle, though it prefers coarse root on a stick and will teleport at times of stress. <laughs> These shaky striders, however, can also walk across the void itself. I don't know how they're able to walk across the air like this, but it's perfectly safe. The best part is they aren't affected by shulker attacks, which makes end city raids 100 times easier. We make a pretty good team, huh? I think we're really getting along. Ah, what the, dude? Why? It's an endermite. <laughs> You're scared of that? That's nothing. <laughs> You know, what he should really be scared of are the spiders, because they could really become your worst nightmare. Current spiders are basically pushovers that are often too big to be a threat. Well, that could all change. Improving their wall climbing could be dangerous on its own, but pair that with baby spiders and the ability to launch webbing at prey and spiders become a whole other beast. They'd lay eggs every so often that if left alone could hatch into a litter of tiny spiders. It's 
manageable enough on the surface, but if you're not careful, you'll find yourself quickly overrun in the mines. That's because along with increased egg spawns, adult spiders will actively place new webs. <laughs> uh, wait, I thought I cleared this area. <laughs> Ah, I'm trapped! I found the treasure, Ned. It be mine! I don't think so, Bonks. Ah, he dodged my attack! Yar har! Watch out for the Kraken, Neddy boy! <laughs> that there be the giant squid! It would be a new variant of the squid that lives in the deep oceans. And while it prefers to hunt dolphins, it won't shy away from a tasty player. It likes to blind players with its beam of ink before sucking them straight into its gaping mouth. <laughs> huh, yar! Ah, was that a dream? Where am I? <laughs> ah, evil bonks? Yes, and it's time to witness my evil creation. I call it the Dark Enderman. Not only will it blind any player it finds, but it will also grab them and teleport them into the end. Uh, hey. Shut up. I'm monologuing here. Now, what was I saying? Oh, right. I am an evil genius and... Ah! What the? No! Some people never learn. Like those drowned over there. Give up. You're never getting out of there. Ah! No one warned me about the immortal. He's a drowned that knows how to wield a trident. He can use it to dash forward while also summoning lightning. And if that lightning hits him, well, he'll recover all of his health. Ah! He really is immortal. Someone help me. <laughs> oh, uh, what did, uh, did you teleport him? Well, uh, the thanks. You know, you know, maybe you're not such a bad, uh, okay.